better solution. This is how we can better humanity. And I think we should do this as soon as possible. And what that is, is <laughs> a very interesting use of AI. I think that we can take every person on planet Earth and have them write their own Mein Kampf, right? So what I'm saying is we take our greatest weakness and turn it into a strength. How influential was Mein Kampf to the German people? And it disrupted the entire fucking world for about 14 years, right? So, to this day even, yeah, a lot longer than after the Cold War. But, if every single person, so you could have some potential corruptions, people learning how to manipulate what this task is. If you, if you kind of look at it like placement tests in school, or you look at it, yeah, basically placement tests, there's something else I wanted to, anyway, so what you do is everybody overcomplicates any emotion that you can remember feeling that you believe now has changed, or initiated development in you anything like that like for me particularly like, i remember potty training for some reason i remember when i wasn't allowed to ride in strollers anymore stuff like that all the way up every year of your life i'm gonna say literally just like an autobiographical mind comp of expressing any positive negative emotions anything that just deviates up and down throughout a person's life. Then what we do is we create a system where we input all of these into a database per person every year. And we would start right now with as many people as possible. But you would you would create an AI that then develops an algorithm to associate all these experiences with other people. Because one thing that's always kind of pissed me off is when people say, get a job. Like, like it's gonna be better for humanity. Like, you know, you watch these videos of these guys doing drugs and like they can barely walk. Right. Everybody's subjective and they don't uh, think that they can help them. And that's always just been a repetitive corruption to us. Is this flaw that we don't really fucking understand one another. Like we don't even understand our own problems and what we're causing. So how do we figure out the problems that we are causing, even though they're positive to us? Did, you know, you see this kid and he's like, movie and barely walk I'm like well I mean it's not funny but I'm laughing at how I perceive it is that like this kid he's not harming anyone right but yet it's still he is still a problem and the problem isn't that why he's doing drugs even if they're good or bad drugs you know the fact is, is that like even if he cleans himself up, he typically is still going to be considered a drug addict in society. That he's never going to escape that. And he probably knows that too. It's no different than felons and stuff. Like, you're not going to want to hire some fucking burglary, murderous bastard who finally got released from prison, who studied education, and now he's going to be a principal. You going to have that? No. Like, we had a guy at my college, he, uh, he was an ex-convict or something, I forget what he was, he was an ex-gang member, that's what it was, and they hired him at the school, and he became a teacher's aide, and 
He tried to rip me off for a used book. <laughs> it was just like, I just looked and I was like, we give you second opportunities. What does this mean? And so anyway, back to my original point is that we could have an algorithm that associates all these positives and negatives that people could finally maybe pursue a little self-awareness. But what would the issue of this be? Now, this would be the interesting social experiment is how many would people read? I know that, you know, life is really short and we don't have enough time, but and how you would actually create a foundational system of like, who could read enough of these? That you would, you know, you would be able to basically create like like the karma system for for Reddit, which is used to oppress people. I've been banned from Reddit for being a luthier on a luthier forum. Like, I mean, I'm telling people how to fix their instruments and answering their questions, but the audacity of these people who are more willing to say, hey, go and find a professional. And it's just, like, a lot of times people don't have those resources. They don't have the money. I have always been adamant about that. Like, you just, you know. Luther is invention. That's why Luthiers are garbage now. It's because none of them are inventors. My point being that that whole karma system that people can use to objectify you, just like the drugs, can be used to objectify people through their success. And I don't think people are gonna want to go through that looking glass, are they? Because they're fucking cowards. And hypocrisy is what we need to fight. So you would, you'd basically just like be able to tack what people have read and what people associate through and to help people amalgamate and understand what they've been wrong about or what they're doing wrong or whatever else, you know, anything that could be perceptibly as a flaw, though so many people are so adamantly sensitive. This is the problem. So that's why you would have an algorithm to understand, like, what is genuinely worth being wrong about through a democratic system. That throughout this entire planet, we could have people who experience the same emotions, same flaws, same corruptions, or, you know, their own objectifying successes. That they've taken advantage of people to understand, like, what and which and where and what we went wrong. It would disrupt the entire fucking human process right now. <laughs> It would, there are so many homes that I can imagine would become vacant at these new, just projective projects that are going to be so great for pumping in new people. And you, you got to really, you know, it's like, like, what are we working towards? Everybody wants to know that, right? Well, philosophy, obviously, right? We're trying to become a free will society through the most diversity possible. Yeah, the theory of infinite potential. That is what we are working towards. There's no other fucking solution. Because infinity is infinity and everything else is just a collapsing waiting to happen. So you would take every greatest weakness and turn it into a strength. And the people who would genuinely read the most would provide the most sense of self-awareness that might actually represent something that we have to earn through humanity in the like i'm not saying that we implement some sort of governing martial law structure to, to say hey i'm gonna come and take you because you didn't read about mark today because <laughs> mark is the highest uh, i don't know disassociative uh, connection between you and your successes but it would just kind of help level the playing ground of emotional manipulation emotional just what's really fucking people's heads up because you, you look at these drug addicts and that people say like oh my god i wish i could help them but you know not ever you don't understand you know you say get a job well getting a job worked for you 
You know, that's the basic way of putting it, right? It's the simplest way. And that guy is stuck with his life. He ain't got what your brain got. And I ain't got what your brain got. You ain't got the brain that I got, you know? So a way to create an algorithm, like a Rubik's Cube system of putting people together through is and the more honest you are the more complex the more variables there's gonna be so you're gonna you're gonna know who essentially is lying and who is telling the truth it would be a huge improvement upon like isolating sociopaths and narcissists because they would they would want to lie about certain emotional traits they're never going to be able no one is going to be smart enough to amalgamate 350,000 variables per se and, you know I'm just putting out a number it's going to be far more complicated than that to where every variable you know they can just manipulate through an emotional experience it's not going to fucking happen there's no plausible way that a person can be as smart as you, I mean, it would take basically a probably a quantum computer that can uh, can assess all these, but because you're gonna need, you know, the flux of the electrons of a quantum computer between I don't know, they honestly I'm not like designer, but I imagine they use like two sets of anodes and diodes per se between like a, a vector of the current charge and you would have like say transistors coming off of that so some of these emotional input would hit the initial vector and cross section and then you would have those cross section with somebody else's and this would compile three-dimensionally into a matrix of like an analysis platform for every emotion that people have felt and what we are perceptively successful through, what we're trying to achieve, what people believe we're trying to achieve, what people have experienced and gone through. You know, for instance, like you have that generic kid that, oh, I, I was pushed into learning an instrument because he's slightly talented, but he, did, he secretly hates it or something like that. And like the emotional corruption, psychological manipulation, that alone can destroy an entire life, even though, so many more people might see it as positive to be so talented and musical, to be a concert cellist or something, or a pianist, that they may hate it. Like me, I spent a lot of my life learning. And when I lost my fingers, you know, I lost the use of these two fingers after something like 12 years, I was finally finger picking like Chet Atkins. And I was independently finger picking and playing with all my ten fingers. You know, I was able to to associate, you know, like like these complicated I haven't worked out these muscles in a while. But like the ability just to like do that, say, and pluck separate chords. And then to do that rhythmically. It's very complicated. It takes a lot of time to do that. I worked very hard at that. And that was playing every single day, pretty much all day, for 12 years. Anytime I got the chance that I wasn't doing something else, I'd be playing guitar. And that destroyed my life. That fucked me up. Not that I was going to, like, be the next Chad Atkins or something, but where that emotion, that, that trauma can associate to other people, we're, we're not capable as humans to really understand that. We try through psychology, but what if we could actually have a database for all this that amalgamates everything and associates everything to where we could just I wouldn't say a grand solution, but it would help alleviate some of the hypocrisy. No, it's just you see so much repeti repetition that leads to downfalls and corruption.
I don't even know how to put it all into words. I'm rambling for 15 minutes now. I'm gonna go get my Chinese food.